baby. <laughs> yeah, All right. Welcome. My name is Baba Joe Fry, the math guy. So <laughs> we're going to talk about some math. You better get it up. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> All right. So I was talking to my cousin, Mr. Phillips, and he said that you have a big and I'm talking in a B-I-G, big math chapter test coming up soon. So, um, I'm going to take over the reins. So buckle up, because Baba Joe is going to put on a clinic. <laughs> all right, so a couple things about Baba Joe that you need to know. First of all, love math. Gotta, gotta, gotta have it. <laughs> Second of all. Second of all, I love me some sweet tarts. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. All right, so I've been talking to Mr. Phillips, and I kind of know what's going to be on the test. And one of the things that's going to be on the test is a variety of one-step problems. Now, they're exactly what they sound like where they require just one step. So you have a mixture of some addition, some multiplication, some division, some subtraction. Now, because this is a test review, I want you to go ahead and pause the video, try these four questions yourself, and then see what you get when Baba Joe puts on the clinic. First things first, when we add, we can use the song. If I remember correctly, hold on, let me swallow my food. That got me thinking. There's really two main food groups in the life of Bob Joe. One of those is fish. The second one is sweet tarts, right? There's no joking. Fish and sweet tarts. <laughs> All right. When we add, we're going to use the song that Mr. Phillips taught you. And that will go. I sang song, I added cake, but death was all I subtract. Take the sign of a higher number. Then you'll be exact. All right, that's how it goes. So, we got same size as the sign, added cake. That's going to be the same sign, added cake. Negative 18 plus negative 15 is going to give me a solid isocole negative 34. Same sign, added cake. Negative 18 plus negative 15 is going to give me a solid isocole negative 34. 33. Close. 33. Right here is no longer about the song, so you've got to get it out of your head. Get it out of your head as soon as possible, ASAP, 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 all right? With the multiplication and with the division, we're going to worry only about our shoes. Now, Baba Joe, I really don't wear a lot of shoes. Hey, look at those pearly lights. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's probably going to haunt your dreams. All right. So right here, is this a good day or a bad day? Okay, this right here is a bad day. You're wearing one uncomfortable shoe, one comfortable shoe, they don't match. Okay, seven times 12, spoiler alert, 84. We get negative 84 for that one. Okay, right here. Now division, we haven't talked a whole lot about, at least I know you haven't talked about it in class. Okay, but I've been talking to Mr. Phillips a little bit and he said that you really haven't talked about division a whole lot, but multiplication and division have the same rules. They're like cousins, you hear? All right, I, my cousins and me are close. I, I'll i even take my cousin to prom. There's no shame. There's no shame. <laughs> Go to prom with my cousin. Right here. <laughs> this right here is a good day. So yeah, negative 14 divided by negative two, which would be a good day, positive seven. Okay, subtraction, I'm gonna still say it. Subtraction is the toughest. It's like that real tough beef jerky that you get after a long hunt. Okay, right here, we've got to change this to add the opposite. You add the opposite here. The opposite of negative 42 is positive 42. But now notice, we can use the song. The song that we sang earlier, okay? Different signs subtract 42 minus 19. Might be a good idea for me, not 49. What's Bob and Joe doing here? 42 
Mine is not tight. Okay. Okay, take the side of the higher number. This right here is going to be a positive 23. The goat. Alright, 23 goats, 7, negative 84, negative 33. Nice job. Alright, problem number two, same story. We're going to pause the video, write this down, try to solve it yourself, then Bob and Joe will take you on a journey here soon. Alright, first things first. We're going to be on exploration. Kind of that one time I went exploring in the alley. Yeah, oh, a good time. All right, <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and explore and look for some subtraction. Right here we have minus five. We're gonna take this, we're gonna add the opposite. The opposite of five is negative five. Bring everything else down. A lot of copying, make sure you write the number down correctly. All right, now we're gonna do parentheses. Now, is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please is parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we're gonna do negative nine plus four. Different sides subtract, we get negative five. Bring everything down. It's like riding a unicycle. I kid you not, one time I was riding a unicycle and I did a wheelie. It was amazing, okay? Think about it. <laughs> All right, we got negative eight plus negative five times negative four plus 13 times negative five. We're now gonna multiply before we add. This right here is a good day, okay? Shoes match. Right here, so we get a positive 20. All right. Now we're going to do 13 times negative 5. That would equal a bad day. That would be negative 65. Bring everything down. Bobby Joe gets a little repetitive sometimes, but that's right. Right here, different signs subtract. We're going to take 20 minus 18, which is 12. Take the sign of the higher number. And then we're left with different signs subtract. 65 minus 12 is 53. It'd be negative. Negative 53. All right, hopefully you got it right. All right, now these look at first glance kind of tricky. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is I want you to once again pause the video and try to set up the problem first, and then I will have you actually solve the problem. All right, so let me read it real quick to you. Start at negative nine and throw off five groups of two rocks. Then add four groups of three blues. Where are you now? Well, first of all, it sounds like you're in a place called Disneyland because what are you doing with balloons and rocks? I don't know. <laughs> we are <gonna> go crazy. <laughs> all right, go ahead and pause the video. Give it a try. Notes. Start at negative nine. That's gonna be our starting point. Throw off five groups. So throw off five groups of two rocks. Now two rocks are gonna cause you to go down two. So we're gonna take it times negative two. Then add, so plus, four groups, four groups of three balloons. This will give you a positive three. Where are you now? So the nice thing is here, we solve this correctly, we're gonna know our altitude, all right? Add the opposite, we get negative nine. I might run out of room. Like that one time going in my station wagon down to the Estes Park, ran out of room. Parents left me for some reason. I don't, where? Where are they? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take negative 5 times negative 2, which is a good day, positive 10. All right, 4 times 3 is positive 12. All 
Okay, now I would go ahead and just reckon that we do this right here. That's pretty easy. Different signs of track, take the sign of the higher number, we get positive one. And then one plus 12 is our final answer of 13. My lucky number, lucky number 13. You know, one time I was out dribbling a bowling ball. <laughs> You know, I hope, if anything, you just get some confidence that this test review is going to help you rock the test on Friday. You know, like one time, I killed two stones with one bird. Best day of my life. Now, you'd think that maybe Baba Joe would cut out this awkwardness, but this is me. All of me right here. Gummies, gummies and all. <laughs> gummies and fish. Gummies and fish. Okay, first thing first. All right. We're going to add the opposite. Okay, let's start with this right here. It's a bad day. So even though there's decimals, okay, we're going to still get a negative answer. Off to the side, I'm going to multiply decimals. I'm going to count them out. When I'm done... I'm gonna move it down one place. So I get negative 23 and a half. Bring everything else down. Okay, right here. That's a good day. So we're gonna get a positive answer. Negative 23 and a half. Okay, we get 3 on 3. Now 2.7. 21. We get 21. <laughs> 21. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so funny. We get, move it over two places, we get 8.91. Okay, now we got different signs of subtract. Now be really, really careful. Careful. When we subtract, we must, and I say you must, line up your decimals. Okay? Line them up. Don't forget. Okay, right here, we have 0 minus 1 on the bottom. We get 10, 9, bottom again, 2, 14, 5, drop like hot, bottom 1, 12, 4, 14. <laughs> Negative $14.59 for your final answer for the test review. Little motivational speech to leave you with. No frills, no editing, just you and Bobby. You and Bobby. Do good. All right? Do good. Bye.